Mobad's father breaks silence, and I want you to listen to what he has to say. And um, it's so important that you listen from the beginning of it to the end. In between, there will be translation and analysis. Very important. This is to carry along our audience that do not understand the language that Mobad's father will be speaking in. So, a lot has happened so far. We all saw the theatrics of Mobad's mom at the Corona inquest. We saw the drama, the aggressive stance in the attitude and behavior of Wumi at the Corona inquest. They left the Corona inquest disappointed. They believed so much in spell, juju, and all of those diabolic things. They thought that um, the judge would do for them what they wish and what they want. But God in his infinite mercy, God of vengeance, decided to look down on Muba's father, saw his suffering, and also every one of us. He looked into our hearts and decided that vengeance is a must on this case that we have all been talking about. What Muba's father said is so deep. Yes, it is deep. This is a new update that we must not miss. Still on justice for Mobad. If you've been on this platform, if you've been subscribed to this platform, you must have been up to date. But if you are not, kindly tap on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Like and share. That is the least that you can do for this platform, for this channel. It will help YouTube algorithm know that you are here listening. Supporting justice for Mobad. I want to say a special thank you and may God replenish the pockets of those that have tapped on the tank spotting. I'm talking of the one with the love icon and the dollar sign in the middle of it. May God Almighty bless you, replenish your pocket. And if you also want to be a part of this, if you want to be a blessing to this channel, you can as well tap on that same button. It is still on justice for Mobad. Hmm. What Muba's father said is deep. So deep. We all thought that uh, after the government autopsy and toxicology that took so long, that would be the end. Even though they have now granted Muba's father a one month, that is a 30 days window to get DNA done. Sorry. Autopsy and toxicology. Done. They took over six months. Now they want one month. But that's not a problem. I mean, it is okay. And I think they did because uh, people had screamed at, at them, saying, how dare you guys? It doesn't take more than maximum of 60 days, minimum of 30 days to get this and that done. They said, okay, let's give you guys this. There's no problem. It will be done. It will be done. That's all. Emi o si ju a shegun lò. Bati mo bati re konja o do. Ongbo bo yi o la kedere. Now, eja ki infoni yen pa mo. So li, bi e mi to wa ni nou mi sheni ki nko ni yen ni. E olon, to ni pa ti akbara. Amu kim la ja. E wana o to un fi ti bo mi ni akoko yi. E nou shumo to wa yen. So bad, bad boy, and you're only some way be. Oh, Ponto, don't look at Jesus Christ in Nazareth, one loud noja. Bushy, my Jenny. Ah, Mufi, I go go ye to Pelawa, Bubu, I want bloggers. I want old slap back boy. Oh, good, good, Miji. But you are for ya, ya, to one sheep. I want the Virginia Coco.
ni ti mo ti dupe lowo olorun tori pe awon blogger yi gbiyanju gbogbo ti won se on ri effort won bi elomi o ti e soro ni won ti ma lo pe opo mi emi fun mi lowo emi o fun mi tori awon ti o fun mi awon gan ni ma ko dupe fun tori pe yin yin ke ni se mi elomi o fun mi but ninu soro si ninu agbe kale o nwu mi lori so awon to wa fun mi opo yen na o tun dogun ti won se ni odugudu meje e ti won se and uh, at the same time a mo dupe ni owo obirin yi ayan yin ka o fun akiti yan won obirin bi okunrin a mo dupe lowo e at the same time oko e ti o fi sile si aye yen mo ri awon kokan de mo ni ninu idile yen pe ife wa laarin won so fun ti oko yen se a ninu mi dun o ri pe o ri si la ri be se pe the first to come oko se ni koko daya wo elebi so mo dupe lowo awon mejeji fun gudugudu meje opolopo yaya awon bi debora ti akoko yi se mi ri lowo lowo ni mo dupe fun so un gbogbo ah rally ti mo se ni abuja ah ati omo mi kan na won gbiyanju won gbiyanju gbogbo ti won se won yi o je ki ki ni ma ran ti aro ti mo ba di so ko to di pokro lai oni ti o ba pa won le pa gbogbo ebi ohun awon ebi na wa da so nigba ti mo ri awon yin leyin mi won wa ri pe yes awon ebi ti won so ti won so ro nipa ebi so adura mi ni wi pe e ni wa yin ti o e ni jabo leyin mi olorun wa laanu a ma di de lo fun yin at the same time my appreciation to the all lawyers to present the uh, corona court mo dupe lowo won akoko yi mo wa ri pe ya awon yo fe uto to le ti fara won so ni na won ko ti mo ri ise si awon lawyer yin o je kinu mi dun gan ibi to ye kin te soro mo mo follow rules mo wa ri pe opopo lawyer mo won dide mo appreciate mo appreciate gbogbo won and the judge um uh or to one does at she private autopsy um omo yi so o je nti omo nu mi dun ni akoko e ri pe look mi gan o ya to si ti tele to ri pe inu sin yi la le mo idi ododo to ri ododo ya gan ni mi fe o o fe mo iku to pa mo badi o wa very very important so mo dupe lo won gbogbo akiti yan ti won se all over the world fun gbogbo support won mi o le mi o le ma daruko melu mo ti e mo inu won awon ti mi o mo ri so ikiyesi mi ni pe owo olorun ni o ni se te yan olorun ni o tori ti a ba ni ka wo fun bi awon yan se respond Oh, o jo mi loju o ko ja oye mi and um, at the same time orisirisi kan lo si wa ni le ta se ni lo ti mo se ni the support awon eyan so the meaning of the song that mobas father sang is that he will overcome all of this and he will be more than a conqueror that he will be victorious he said he's thankful to God for you and I that um, he does not know your phone number. Neither does he know your house address. But every one of you have decided to stand by him because of Mobad. He said he acknowledges the protest, silent protest, peace walk 
if I might want to call it that way, because there was no noise. The one that was uh, conducted in the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. He said he's grateful to everybody, to everyone who have stood by justice for Mobad. And he's also using this medium and the experience so far to say to you that whatever circumstance, whatever situation, whatever tribulation that you are going through right now, you will surely overcome. And also, he wants to say a special thank you to the lady called Ayaminka. She is the one that the Nigerian police arrested over the so-called petition of Oba Ilegushi. He said he's so grateful to the husband of this woman that stood strongly by the side of his wife for justice for Mubad. And he said it struck his heart. It struck a chord in his heart. He looked at his own situation and that of Ayaminka and her husband. He saw the solidarity between both of them. And he's wondering why such did not occur, happen in his own situation. You know what he means? Obad's mother defending the prime suspect while he is left alone. No siblings of Mobad with him. Alone, striving, fighting for justice for Mobad. He said he will stand strong and firm on this justice for Mobad and that this private autopsy toxicology will shed more light into what happened to his son because it is the truth of what happened that he is interested in. He said that um, the little that he has gathered so far from what people have been giving to him and also from what he even gets from social media, he said he has put this into the account that will be used, um, the account for the autopsy, private autopsy and toxicology. And he also said, if there is anyone out there that is pregnant or has a child for Mobad, I think um, as a child for Mobad would be appropriate, the person should come out now before it is too late. Why is he saying this? Because um, of this side talk or rumors that is still going around that... Uh, there are some girls, ladies, that are pregnant for Mobad. I think this rumor sort of um, sprung from those that are trying to um, demonize Mobad to make him appear as someone who um, does not uh, keep to himself, someone who um, goes around with different women. I think that is what they are trying to establish here with this rumor. So he said, if there is anyone out there, come out now before it is too late. Thank you. Um, my head carries oh. boy. Okay, Baba wants to say Hello? 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 Psalm 109 over to Good you. Afternoon. I, can, I can hear you, Irish. My daddy. Good evening, sir. In fact, yes, seeing your face this evening, mm -hmm. this is it really makes me happy. You are blessed, daddy. You are blessed. No <laughs> weapon formed against you shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. The good Lord is always by your mm -hmm. side. And he will always be by you. He will never forsake you, Daddy. He will never forsake you. You are a conqueror. You will step upon all your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, Daddy, Olorun ma temole won o ni bori eyin ti bori won ma sare lo ni sugbon ko to debe olorun ma tele ebe de won 
won o ni raanu gba ni bi kidi gbogbo eni to ba fi yin re mo tun ma nso won a deni fi re loruko Jesu Kristi gbogbo eni to ba gbogun ti yin ninu emi ninu ara loruko Jesu awon ogun oran a gbogun ti won eni to ba wa ko to isubu nitori ti yin loruko Jesu won a fori ara won di daddy iji oni ja yin mo loruko Jesu Kristi I jado mi ogun ti se Olubala jagun molu Ori ayo la o mako Alleluia Tadi ori alleluia ni ti yin loruko ti baba tomo ti emi mimo ori alleluia yen ko ni kuro lenu yin loruko Jesu Christi bo ta fe bo ta ko ori alleluia yen ko ni fi igbesi aye yin sile bi o ta fe bo ta ko ori alleluia yen ko ni kuro lenu yin ni gbogbo ona e ma ma ni idi lati yan olorun be lo se ma abose okay mi be pe ni wife yin mi de mo mo se fe pe tori yan o fin se wife yin mo ta e jo woman yen ipinle ise Ejo, eba wa petition o na, ejo a fono mbe yi, ejo. Mi fe kwe ni waifu, ni ko ye ni waifu, ni lera. Wuma to kwe re ni ikme le she nye, wuma nye, eti, eti mwa sa. Ejo sa eba wa petition, o ni di petition. Tori, olo, olo, oni, olo, oni wong guni, koti fe nwa rae, so oni wong guni. Ishe ya wongi o dadi mi ikme le she, lo rupa mwa. Ni wipay, ni wipay. But we can still hear you. Oh, sorry about that. Let me do that right away. Okay. Um, thank you so much. Um, God's protection for that. Um, Baba, ah, go answer the phone. Boy, I live our so answer and let us see. Answer the phone. No, you be only a job. Your money. You go out there. You learn. You pa at the chassis. Even come out of cool, I yet at the bottom So, to go out of the way, to be a boy, I'm going to be a boy. 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 But I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know but o ye opolopo yin ala yi te mi ma se pe mi pe ti loya mi ba ti pe meji ti mo de ti mu awon eyan ti bi se bi mi pe meji o di mere emi wa se sugbon emi gogan ni o le yoju sibe ni ba ti wa nbe authority mi no ma fi si ibe pe ti mi o ba lo sibe awon ega o le wo but ti ba ti fun won ni permission pe awon to fe wo on my behalf even mo de so bi pe last time ti a lo wo ni ba ti mo ri oju awon ti o lo sibe lai so nkan kan fun ni emi okan mi so fun ni pe o ti won ri ti won ri lele yi ah baba o lo but awon lawyer ni won ni won mo bi area yen but ojo ti baba ti lo kain na ni won ti lo but awon lawyer won sise lori yen nkan ti mo le so nibe yen for now ni okay e se ko sa e se gan ni e se gan ninu wa dupupo lati gboru yen ki awon loya kan ba wa sise lori e ti won ba fe gbe ba lo sile ejo kan gbo won sile ejo ton ba de fe pe won fe lo ti won mo le olodun ogun odun na ni gbogbo agbaye gbogbo ara afuju ri e se ti won ba se kan je ka mu e se gan ninu wa do lati gbe le ikan ibere tun mo tu wa ni ohun ni pe ni ojo ti won se court ta won lo lasiyan a o da bi pe awon loya baba won ni information to po lowo 
e jo e ba wa ke lati fun won ni awon orisirisi information ta awon gan ta je lawyer ta ji ani information to po lori internet ju awon lawyer lo idi ti mo fi so ile ni pe won bere awon lawyer gbe kini lo sile ejo fun won pe kan jo nturi olohun kan lo se iwadi pada ni ati bere pepe ni ibi to mo yi tuku ninu le inu le lo mo yi ku si ki lo de to mo yi se ku sinu le ki lo se se won ja ni se wa la kan ni won de ti gbo gbo ro lo ro awon ipo na ja awon kan ni won ja awon kan ni wo ja awon kan ni gba awon kan lawo okay kan ba wa gbe gbo won wa bere lo wa awon loya baba pe e a so pa lo si bere pe pe se ile yen so si wa titi ni sa won yen si n gbe be ni awon loya won ni down si gbo gbo awon kan ti won bi won de bi pe just one minute yes ma please make it fast we have a problem with yes yes e ma bi nu if de bi wi pe e ma e je je e je je Yes, mo fa lo be yin ni nigba ta won lawyer ti won bere lowo won awon lawyer ta le same lawyer nitori pe ko mo nkan kan ni pe e je ka sise lori gbogbo ile je ki lawyer ni information lo wo ejo e ejo ejo da mi lu ile ina ejo e se goma ah lori pe boya won fe won fe si lo po bi ti crime scene yen number 1 ni nigeria o fi o fi nigeria ni pe ki se ko si lowo lawyer owo olopa ni olopa lo ni yen lowo any investigation ni nigeria it is it is a law enforcement agents awon olopa ni won ni won ni won le se yen so olopa mo idi riri ti won fi that is why ti a fi ti won fi bere mi ile ejo pe crime scene yen o ye kan se kini o ye kan o ye kan o ye kan seal up so owo olopa question yen lo ye kan da no ye kan direct question yen si kin se owo lawyer olopa lo ma se investigation so olopa ti o se se won dede lo je ki awon lawyer gbe igbese yen so kin se lawyer lo ma lo ma ni o ye kan direct question yen si gbugbu wa la mo pe won seal up ile yen ta ma de ma seal up e olopa lo ye ko se yen it is obvious that Muba's father is in high spirit, meaning he's no longer downcasted as he used to be. He is now able to look up and um, put a little bit of smile. Why? Because he's getting to closure, which is important. Um, what Muba's mother wants is not closure because she already knows how it all happened. For Muba's mom, closure will be when she has access to money. That's all she's interested in. She is visioning herself in a big shopping mall, all built by the money that Mobad has generated ever since the announcement of his demise. All that she's thinking about is how she's going to be on an aeroplane. Maybe her first trip will be to Israel after the war. <laughs> yeah or maybe she will be promised to go on vacation in dubai all of these are the visions that Mubat's mom has on her mind unlike Mubat's father they say don't worry the first will be dubai and uh, we need to use that to build up your international passport to show your travel history don't worry you go to dubai uh, we will take you to israel and afterwards, you apply for visa to the United States and um, blah, blah, blah. Or you go to the UK. Don't worry. So she's dreaming of uh, this big time enjoyment all on the back of justice for her son. That's why she's so possessed with this anti-justice for her son. It's all about the pleasure. It's all about what she stands to gain. Look at Moba's father. Now he can smile a bit, not because he's happy. He would have been happier if nobody is alive. He would have been much happier. Let's say Mobad was uh, injured and is in the hospital and we are praying and hoping that he survives. That would be, be, be a different thing. But Mobad is not alive. So 
um, all that he has to think of is justice, 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 justice. How can I get this justice? He's happy because of the last uh, Corona court where the judge said, you have the permission to go get private autopsy and toxicology done. Wumi, you do not have the permission. Mubat's mother, you do not have the permission. You are not the final say. No, not at all. You are not. Because that's what Wumi and Mubat's father kept on hammering. Wumi kept saying, I am the uh, customary law married wife. <laughs> and Mubat's mother said, yes, I am also the mother of the child. And I want my son to be put out of the soil. I don't want any autopsy. Autopsy had already been carried out and they said there is nothing that he found. So it means that she is concluding that Prime Boy is the one who buyed Mubad. That's it. It's as simple as that. That's all that she believes in. That Prime Boy is the one that buy Mubad. Nothing more, nothing less. That's the truth of it. Yeah, that's the truth of it. She, she, she believes in it so much that uh, there is nothing anyone can say or tell her that will prove otherwise. And I've told you what she said, how it happened. That Prime Boy did not need to touch Mobad with a juju or any of this, Muti. No, the Prime Boy already had the Muti done on him. It's inside of him already. Maybe he's putting it on as a ring, a fetish ring, or a waistband, or arm band, shoulder, whatever band, I don't know. Or, or he swallowed it, drank it, I don't know. According to our story, Adura had punched Prime Boy, and he felt, for example, an electric shock. Whenever you touch Prime Boy, to hit him. To fight him in anger, to beat him, not like a joke, but if you want to, something will happen to you. That is what Adura made us believe. Now, I'm not ruling out that part of Prime Boy having such on him. I'm not saying this is not possible, but if Adura did hit Prime Boy, I went to others and said, hey, don't touch that guy. There is something I felt when I eat him. I think he has some muti on him. He has some juju on him. Don't touch him. Don't fight him. Don't hit him again. If that is what he told them. Now, how did that affect Mobad? Mobad pulled him down, hit him. Why didn't Adura R.I.P. like Mobad? See that... Mubad is more spiritually weak. Now, what about the fight in the SUV? What about the fight at home? In fact, what was that injury that Mubad had before going to the show? What happened? All of these things are connected to Wumi. Yes, Wumi has refused to confess that part of what she did that brought about calling the nurse. They just felt it is easier for us to put everything on Prime Boy. Prime Boy might be part of it. Not with Wumi. But maybe he did his own thing, which I'm not saying is the right thing to do, but he did not do it to hurt Mobad specifically. Maybe it was part of his own protection even though it comes with consequences. Because he already heard that Mobad was being bullied and beaten everywhere. So maybe that's why he went to get his own thing done. Like, it's better I have mine on me. Should any of these bullies touch me, what will happen to them? So what is this thing that now happened to Mobad? How come Adura, I repeat, is not is still alive? Why did the same thing happen to Adura? 
That's the question. Mubad's mom, she has been shielding Wumi, shielding Adura, shielding Darusha. These are the group of people. So-called wife, so-called brother, so-called uncle that were with Mubad before his final demise. Also, um, questions are being asked. When are you going to petition Mubad's mother? Do not uh, do this with Mubad's mother um, this way. Do not handle it with kid's claws. Handle it like she is a serpent, a vampire. Um, do it and um, do not uh, withdraw your hands. So he's saying, my lawyers know what to do. Um, we have to take it easy. I think what Mubad's father is trying to do is um, simple. He's trying to still keep that family unit or tie somehow. That's it. Respecting Mubat's mom and those children. That's what he's doing. And it is hurting him. These people are not joking. They are not ready to... In fact, if Adura has the opportunity, access to his father, he can even just uh, hit him something on his head. If Mubat's mom has the opportunity to be around Mubat's father within seconds, what will happen? It will be disastrous. So it's just that he's just uh, kind of kind to them, hoping that they will turn a new leaf. But these people, I don't think they will. This is called fire for fire.